Volkswagen's first electric wagon is here. This is the new ID7 Tour. What's good guys? Welcome back to Ron's Rides. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where there's a popular view among EV skeptics that electric cars might be fine for people who only ever chug a few miles to and from work each day, but are no good for people who are business travelers or families that frequently need to venture further afield. Well, here's an EV that begs to differ. It's the new ID7 Tour a wagon version of VW's existing ID7 sedan that promises all the cargo space and range that a road tipper might need. Now the big news besides the additional cargo capacity that comes with the shooting brake back end is that the introduction of a larger battery pack is here. And I'm going to focus on that first because while the ID7 wagon will only be offered in Europe and not here in North America, the new battery option will also make it into the globally sold ID7 sedans later this year. Now the base ID7 comes with a 77 kilowatt battery that's been fitted to every ID7 since launch, but spend a little extra for the ID7 Pro and you'll unlock a new 86 kilowatt power pack that VW estimates will be good for a 426 WLTP mile range. 685 kilometers between charges. VW didn't reveal any numbers for the wagon with the similar battery, but the current 77 kilowatt ID7 offers a respectable 383 WLTP miles, 616 kilometers. Now, keeping charging times broadly the same between the two versions, the bigger battery is capable of charging at 200 kilowatts instead of 175 kilowatts. That means 10 to 80 percent fill needs 28 miles in the cheaper car and still reasonable 30 miles in the pro whichever version you'll go for it'll come equipped with a single 282 horsepower 286 ps electric motor driving the rear wheels and it's easy to think of the id7 as an electric counterpart to the vw passat which comes with a choice of combustion mod hybrid and phev engines but no pure electric option now besides the power sources and price points the id7 is predictably more expensive what separated them so far is that the ID7 has only been available as a sedan. Now they're both available as wagons and can be more directly compared. Now, which is roomier? Well, VW says that the maximum cargo capacity with the back seats folded down is 1,714 liters, 60.5 cubic feet, compared to the 1,586 liters, 56 cubic feet for the sedan. And even with the back seats in place and luggage only loaded to the window line, tour buyers still benefit from the tune of 73 liters, 2.6 cubic feet, where the 605 liter, 21.4 cubic feet trunk is 35 liters, 1.2 cubic feet bigger than BMW's i5. And if that sounds just like too much space and you think your stuff will be rolling all over the car when you move, VW dealers will sell trays and dividers to keep it located. Now up front is no different from an ID7 sedan. You've got the same small digital instrument pack and a large 15 inch tablet touchscreen floating above the center of the dash. What is new is the integration of ChatGPT AI tech, something VW revealed at CES in Las Vegas earlier this year. The sedan is also designed to get the same package, which promises an improved IDA voice assistant that can operate more car features and research information online, and a head-up display that now shows navigation instructions from Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Now, electric wagons are a bit of a niche, so, you know, it's hard to see why VW has chosen not to bring the ID7 Tour here to the States, and that's even when Europe doesn't really have a ton of rivals. And VW hasn't released prices, but based on the prices for the sedan, you can be sure that the wagon will be a massive undercut to BMW's i5 Touring but costs more than the MG5 or Peugeot E308. So with that said, do you think there's a market here in the US for the ID7? Should V should VW bring it here? Drop those comments down below. Now if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Check the links down in the description below and subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And we will see you guys in the next one. Peace.